I'm Kat Timp with National Review. MSNBC host Casey Hunt recently stated that the way to avoid, quote, worrying about character and politics is to start electing women instead of men. Hunt said, quote, can I just say character-wise, let's elect a woman. This nonsense that's been coming from our male politicians of all parties, like, I'm no, I'm tired of it. MSNBC's Chuck Todd seemed to agree with her, laughing and saying, quote, I've never understood why that in itself isn't a reform message. You don't see women governors getting into these scandals. You don't see women, you know. The thing is, statements like these can actually hurt women more than they help them. Let me explain. Hunt may have stated that it is a fact that a woman in an elected position would not have character problems, but I'm betting that every woman in the world would have more than a few examples that would refute this point. Although I've certainly had my problems with men, as everyone who's been following me certainly knows, I've also had problems with women. Now, I think that there might be some truth to the fact that women might not have the same kind of scandals as men. Particularly, I'd say they'd be much less likely to get into sex scandals. But guess what? Sex scandals, as long as they involve consenting adults, are the kind of scandals I care about the least. In fact, I actually don't care about them at all. So how exactly does all of this hurt women? It's simple. Sexism is absolutely real. The fact that there are certain issues you'll have to face as a woman that you won't have to face as a man is real. And these realities get buried when women, presumably in the name of feminism, make claims that are clearly false. In the same way that frivolous accusations of sexism minimize the gravity of the real ones, false arguments for elected women also minimize the very real case for doing so.